Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial at Zebra Code. In this Windows command prompt video series, we are going to learn how to navigate through lines and commands using the CMD. Sometimes you may have a long line or a big block of text to navigate through in the command prompt and it can be difficult. So there are some easy ways you can use to navigate through text or through lines of command in the CMD. To do that, let's open our command prompt as we normally do. Great, now I have my command prompt window open. First, I will navigate to a folder that I'm going to be working in. CD, desktop, and, and CD, AI dev or hit enter. Great. Now I am inside this folder AI dev which is on my desktop. I have this command that I wrote earlier and I'm going to paste it here. It says here echo advanced C language programming single closing angle bracket all computing dot TSD and and echo advanced concepts in C++ programming language. Now I have here double closing angle brackets and all computing.tst and and echo Java programming for professionals. Again I have two closing angle brackets here all computing.tst and and echo Python programming language for machine learning. I also have here two closing angle brackets all computing.tst and and echo php and mysql for web application development and i have here two closing angle brackets all computing.tst what this command will do is with the echo advanced programming language and the single closing angle bracket it will write this test to the all computing.tst file then with the double closing angle brackets, it will be appending the remaining test to the existing file or to the existing test in the file. Now if I run this command, it says all is fine. Let me use the file explorer to look for that file. Exactly, this is the folder and this is the test. If I open it now, it shows everything that I have in that command. I'm going to close this, minimize this. Now let's learn how to navigate this test. I'm going to bring it up again. Imagine I want to go to the start of the line here. I have this option of doing it this way using the left hand arrow to navigate. That would take a long time to get to the start here. And if I'm to go to the right, I will still follow the same procedure. So the first thing is to get to the start of the line, I can press the home button on my keyboard. Exactly now I am at the start of the line. And to move back to the end of the line, I will be doing this one. This will also take a long time. So. In that case, I can press the end button on my computer keyboard and that will bring me here straight away. What happens if I want to move to the end of the line one word? I will press Ctrl and the left arrow. Now it's here. If I press it again, now it's moving one word back. It's moving back one word at a time. And to move forward, I will do the same thing. Press Ctrl and the right arrow. That moves me one word at a time. It moves to the start of each word. Now to get to the end of the line, I will press the end key again. It brings me here. Now I'm going to hit enter just to run the same thing again. What happens if I want to bring up this command or previous commands? To bring back previous commands, I can use the top arrow. This will bring it back. Or the bottom arrow this will bring it back and if I run it again 
is the same command. I can use the bottom arrow as well to bring up a command. So the top arrow will bring up the previous command while the bottom arrow will bring up the next command. And to screw up, press down the control arrow and the down arrow at the same time. That moves the test up. And to move it down, press control and the top arrow. This will move it down. To select test, I'm going to bring it up again. I'm going to put my cursor here. Now to select test, I will press Ctrl Shift and the right arrow. That will select it to the right. Each time I press it to be selecting it. And to select it backward or to the left, I will press Shift, Ctrl and the back arrow. This way, select it to the left. I'm going to hit enter here again. Now I have a lot of tests on my screen. And to clear the Windows command prompt screen, I can just type in clear or CLS. Any of the two will do the same thing. Now with clear, if I hit enter, See, everything is gone. To see all the commands that I have used so far, I can type in here DOS key, space, forward slash, history. DOS key, space, forward slash, history, hit enter. Exactly. It shows me now all the commands that I have run so far since I opened this command prompt window. So this tutorial was to show you how to use shortcuts with your keyboard to navigate your test and commands on the command prompt window. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video and bye for now.